everyone, and welcome to episode one of The Fat Boy Diaries. My name is Cameron Graham, resident fat boy. Let's get into it, shall we? I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, and I think I might be a serial killer. I mean, I cannot tell you the thoughts that have been running through my head this past two weeks. Now let me explain. If you wait for your victims to show up so you can see them harmed, then, then you might be a serial killer. If you lay a trap, a non-lethal trap, so that you can catch your victim and deal with them when you come home from work, you might be a serial killer. If you go to sleep and the last thought you have in your head is to your victim and you're thinking, you better enjoy this night because this is going to be the last night you ever experience in your life, then you might be a serial killer. <sighs> no, wait, wait, wait. You have to let me explain. For the past two weeks, my apartment, my precious apartment, my beloved apartment has been infested with rodents. Not just any rodents. Mice. Now don't you go feeling sorry with these mice because these mice are monsters. Demons straight out of the exorcist with the coughing and the blood and the bleh, all together. And what do you expect mice to do when you catch them running across the floor and you, and you I mean, they better run away. Not these mice. These mice, they look you dead in the eye. My eye socket to their eye socket. I mean, they back out of the room like kids who know you can't beat them because they're not yours and you'll go to prison if you do. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't beat kids. <laughs> mm. Like you told them, don't touch that face. And they look at you because they know you can't do anything and you know they can't do anything. And so they raise a finger, a finger, and they touch that vase all while looking at you like, what are you gonna do about it? I'm not scared of you, you can't touch me. You're not my parent. These mice back into the shadows like they're in the mafia. You know, bowler hats lowered so they're all the more dark and creepy from the shadows. It's been all the while to look more dramatic. And they don't just go away, they just keep staring at you from the darkness, waiting to see what you're gonna do. But they know what you're gonna do. I mean, we both know what I'm gonna do. I mean, you probably know what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna sit on my couch and I'm gonna keep staring at them. I mean, do you, do you really think that I could jump across the room and catch a mouse? I mean, I can't even catch a fly out of the air. I mean, maybe a cake, but a mouse? I had no choice. I had to keep staring at that mouse because I was not gonna let that mouse win. It was at that moment, staring into that creature's eyes that I began to think that I might be a serial killer. I really might. You're going to come into my home and disrespect me by challenging me to a stare up and you're not even going to give me the decency to scurry away. You know, like, just, just scurry away. I would have been fine. I would just sat there for a while, just kept staring at me, challenging me. I was not going to let it win. Mouse, if you're watching, I hope you show up again because I'm not gonna let you go away with you and your family because I've seen all of you. One size of my pinky, my thumb, my middle finger. No, you made it personal. You made it personal. I hope one day you get captured because you're not gonna come into my house and disrespect me. But unfortunately, that war is still going on. I haven't seen the little demons. I know they're still there. I hear a little, a little squeak every now and then. I'm just hoping one time, just one time a trap catches them. Just, my problem is done with. No mice were harmed in the making of this episode. Unfortunately, I do not support the abuse of children in any shape or form, especially when they're not mine. I have no affiliation with the mafia, and in no way, shape, or form is this an advertisement to join said mafia. I am not a serial killer. Any fiction therein similar to a serial killer were a work of fiction. So yeah, I might be a serial killer.
Thanks for watching, and please enjoy the first official trailer of my movie, The Flyaway Girl. Um, are we gonna roll the clip? Uh... <laughs> I think you should face the facts. Mason might not come back. I'd rather love you knowing every single part of you rather than just one part. I kind of missed you so much. We used to be so close. And we could be again, and I'd like to be, but how am I supposed to do that if I don't know what happened? Come on, tell me. No. Tell me all about it. Oh, and you're, you're sisters. You're supposed to tell me this stuff. No, please. I don't want to hear it about your... Well, yeah, you do. <laughs> don't shut out the world. That's what she did. Why didn't she say anything? Stop apologizing. I thought we were closer than this. Not just sisters, best friends. I have to leave. Vanessa, don't go. Thanks for watching. If you liked my video, you should subscribe. Um, if you didn't, you should subscribe anyways because it's free. Why the hell not? You know, you could see me acting like an idiot. You know, why wouldn't that be fun? I mean, it can only go uphill from here. Am I right? <laughs> Thanks for watching.